Welcome and thank you for joining us on this, our second installment of our Advent series here on Grasping Scripture. I'm glad to have you with us. Now, if you haven't covered last week's, I encourage you to go back and listen to last week's installment on the first week of Advent. This week, we are picking up with the second week of Advent. This is the week that is commonly represented by the uh, Bethlehem candle. It is a week that is often associated with, with hope and promise of what is to come, the Messiah that would be born in Bethlehem. Uh, if you need another term to think about it uh, by, you might consider the word peace. That although Bethlehem was a small, peaceful community, it was the city from which David originally came, and it wasn't much but a small farming community, even in the time of Jesus. And yet it is into that stillness and that quiet that the source of our peace with God would arrive. So take time this week to reflect on the promise of God delivered at Bethlehem and on the peace that he can bring to our lives and to our relationship with God. Thank you for joining me this week. Let's look at some scripture. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, Though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Micah 5.2 So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Luke chapter 2, 4 through 7. Last week, we dealt with the first week of Advent, the week of prophecy or of hope, as we looked expectantly to the future and all that the Bible had said about the Messiah who was to come. This week, we're focusing our attention on Bethlehem, usually associated with the second week of Advent, or the concept of peace, that peace that entered the world in that peaceful little community. Let's turn our attention as we have reflected on these verses of Scripture to Bethlehem and what it signifies. Bethlehem reminds us that God gets very specific. Just as God has promised us, the Messiah was brought to us wrapped in human flesh, born in a borrowed manger in Bethlehem. And as we reflect on Bethlehem this week, it should give us hope for the peace that God has promised, because it reminds us that God is willing to come to us where we are, even if it is a seemingly forgotten and insignificant place or life. And he is coming to us now. He can meet the needs of our world today, just like he met the spiritual needs of our world so long ago. We can still find peace in God. We still find hope in God. It is through the coming of Christ that we have the promise of eternal life. And so as we prepare our hearts and maybe even reshape our thinking a little bit during this busy Christmas season, let's focus on the Christ. Let's focus on that ultimate gift of God 
that provides the way of salvation for you and for me. The forgiveness for our sins, how God in his love reached out for us, even though we may in our hearts cry out going, why me? What what significance was I that God should even care about me? Because the truth is, God loves you. And he cares specifically for you. It's no accident. You weren't swept up in the in the, the, the great flow of people, God reached out to you and for you. Have you responded to his peace, to the hope that is found in him? Take time this week to consider that. If you have responded, if you've responded to the message of his gospel, if you have a right relationship with him, then take this week to pause and reflect on just what that means. What is it to have peace with God? There's a theme we'll be revisiting. Join me as we pray. Heavenly Father, we turn to you as we reflect on this week of the Advent season. Lord, we turn to you reflecting on your compassion and your grace, your gift to us of the Christ, that you have a plan and a purpose, that you are faithful in fulfilling your promises. And God, we ask that you would meet us today where we are, that you would impose on our lives where we need you the most. And we know it's not really you imposing on us, but Father, most especially in this season, we can become so distracted that we forget to pay attention And yet you are gracious and you call us back and you remind us, you draw us back into your arms. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for meeting us where we were and bringing us to where we are. Help us to live out the hope, the promise the peace that you bring to our lives. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.